for reviewers, back with the top 10 steampunk games. She hit them with her ten cent and Nisha, Machine for Pigs. Set in a Victorian city filled with strange steam powered contraptions and man pigs that are probably made from said contraptions, the latest Amnesia game will force you through the harrowing setting in order to reach the truth. The steampunk setting is usually used in a way that captures our sense of imagination and wonder, as we see old technology being used for futuristic means, but despite this, Amnesia uses it to create a very unsettling atmosphere, and that's why it's in at number 10 on this list. Guns of Icarus Online This one is pretty obvious if you just look at it. Aircraft battles in the sky on board a steam-powered airship. Play as a member of the aircraft staff as you either mount the turrets and shoot down the enemy ships, or run around performing maintenance in order to keep the ship airborne. Basically Top Gun meets a Jules Verne novel. Sunless Sea Sailing around the seven seas sounds fun, right? Well, I'm afraid that a wonderful and treasure-filled journey is not waiting for you here. Instead, you must pilot your vessel around fallen London as you try to figure out what's happened to your crew and try to survive the scenery itself which can only be described as one of Lovecraft's sleep paralysis episodes. Another title that's taken that sense of wonder from the steampunk setting and twisted it into something unnerving and terrifying. Good game though. Lane Goodman. Seven. Professor Layton series. Yeah, okay, so I'm being biased here by putting on a game about the joys of being British, but this series is also known for its steampunk tones, especially when time travel is thrown into the mix. Though travelling to the future, the city of London seems to transform into a cleaner steampunk version of the turn of the 20th century London. Of course, if they wanted to make it accurate, then they could have just shown you a cutscene of Boris Johnson beating up an NHS worker. Take me down, fix Machinarium! This point and click game is us travelling through a huge junkyard as a robot, trying to get back your robotic body parts that bandits or whoever have stolen, and now they want to mount you down into. I don't know. cutlery? But this game is set in a steampunk world, so expect to see a lot of steam-powered machines and angry robots made of pots and pans. Skies of Arcadia! A definite no-brainer for this list, but Skies of Arcadia makes it in at number 5. If being forced to travel between continents through the use of steam-powered airships, or whatever they're powered by, was your only method of transport, then this most certainly falls under the steampunk genre. Skies of Arcadia has managed to weave many of the typical steampunk features into both its story and setting, and thus earns a place on this list. Final Fantasy VI There was probably going to be a Final Fantasy title on this list, but number six is by far the most steampunkish of them all. While it can't be denied that several Final Fantasies have some steampunk elements to them, the number 6 title is the one that stands head and shoulders above the rest. Armies decked out in mechanic battle gear, mechanised monsters all over the place, oh, and a talking steam train. Yeah, Final Fantasy VI is here at number 4. It was those three words to save my life. Bioshock Infinite Bioshock Infinite might not have been a game that was built upon a steampunk theme, but it definitely does have steampunk elements to it. Everything from the handyman, air patrol ships, the skyhook is a bit steampunkish too, as well as the general vibe and setting. A great addition to the genre, and a great game in of itself. It takes two, baby. It takes two, baby. Dishonored! Most people would have been expecting this one to come in at number one, but I've got one better for that position. But Dishonored is a worthy entry here. Being set in the city of Dunwall, it's up to you to prove your innocence for supposedly murdering the Empress. But the city itself, along with all of the technology and gadgets that are available, screams steampunk. 
or whale punk, since it's all whale oil powered. But the theme is still there. Everything from electric fences to power armor, to the more mundane aspects of life, such as being used to power workshop machinery, this game has allowed its inhabitants to jump forward through time with the use of its whale oil to give off that steampunk vibe. Which means that in at number one is... One more time. Thief 2 The Metal Age! And finally, in at number one is the legendary game itself that is... Thief 2 The Metal Age. Now, whilst it must be remembered that the Dark Project has its steampunk aspects as well, the second instalment took all of that and added in much, much more, with the introduction of many mechanical enemies and traps that weren't as common in the last one, and with a plot centred around the evil machinations of a madman who wants to kill every organic being in the city and fill the entire land with robot citizens instead. A true steampunk dystopia in the making, and a great game at that, and that's why Thief 2 The Metal Age takes the number one spot. And we're all done here, but if you just managed to take the number one spot, then please give it back, that doesn't belong to you. But likes and subs as always, seriously that shit helps out my channel big time, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Thanks, and see you soon, steampunk fans!